It is July 28th, 2013. My name is David Quick. I'm interviewing Michele, Michaela Borghese at her home in Washington, D.C. I'm doing this interview for the D.C. Gardeners Oral History Project, which is sponsored by the Neighborhood Farm Initiative and the D.C. Humanities Council. Michaela, thank you for talking to me today. You're welcome. If we could start by, uh, Michaela, would you please just say your name and your address? Um, my name is Michaela Borghese, and uh, I live on 2915 Broadway Street, Northwest, Washington, D.C., 2008. Thank you. So, as I told you, we're here to talk a little bit about your life in D.C. and food and gardening and all that stuff, but I was wondering if first you would just talk a little bit about your early life, where you grew up, your family, things like that. I grew up on a farm in uh, Austria, up to Austria, and my mother always had a garden, so I'm, I was always around um, fresh vegetables as a little kid already. We would pull carrots or um, radishes, just host them off, and just ate them right outside, mm -hmm. um, just like an apple. Mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> and um, so, like in the summertime, we had a lot of vegetables. It was not like we would um, buy something in the winter time. Some vegetables we could store easily, uh, like carrots, put them in a box of sand, you know, little vegetables, or parsnips, uh, some area, peats, those are vegetables to keep for a long time. So those you would rather save and you eat whatever needs to be eaten right away, like cauliflower, broccoli, all the greens, you know, yeah. something you kind of keep. Or then later, I think when I grew up, we didn't have the freezer yet. So you have to eat even beans, you know, the spring beans, you have to eat right away. But then later, she would freeze them. So I remember there were a lot, a lot of those beans, you know, always cutting them and getting it ready to be frozen. Uh -huh. uh, so in the summertime, we always had a lot of vegetables. But in the winter, just it was left over, more or less. Uh -huh. We never bought vegetables with it. Yeah. So, so what, what we do. Yeah. What, was this a, a rural part of Austria? What kind of... Yes. Yeah. 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 The whole area. I don't know. Bigger city is Linz, about 30 kilometers. 30, no, 25 miles, 20 miles. Mm -hmm. what, was the, the what was the name of your town? My town was, um, town was Hartkirchen, and then there, there's another, uh, how do you call it, subdivision, and the mm -hmm. village is called Schaumberg. Okay. Very small, with um, 35, I think, 35 houses, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it overlooked a very pretty area. There's a castle which is still there from the 11th century, mm -hmm. and uh, then the Danube River is down below, about four kilometers away, mm -hmm. but you can see it mm -hmm. from the farm. And had your family lived there for a long time? Yes, yeah. long time. I mean, it was in the same name. My maiden name is Maya, so the, the name is Maya. Same name for 200 years. Okay. And that those uh, those food growing customs. I mean, was that something that people had just done for a long time yes. in that area? Yeah, it yeah. was natural. Yeah, everybody did it. Mm -hmm. yes. And you, it sounds like you grew most of your own food. Yes. I mean, did you? Yeah, and then potatoes. Did it give them a peel? Big potatoes. Did not just? I mean, big peels of potatoes. Did not just grass also for the animals. Mm -hmm. And. Um, well, the beets were mostly the, the sugar beets, they were mostly for the animals, they were not for us. Uh, but then all the grains, you know, we also for the grains. Hmm. Wheat and uh, rye, barley. So was your, and was your father a farmer? Or? Yes. Oh, okay. So he was, he did that yes. full time. He oh, yeah. Up. Okay. And what kind of animals were Cows you Cows and pigs and chickens. That was about it. Okay. But uh, small, it was a small farm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not big. And you had siblings? Or? Oh, yeah. Six, uh, ten, ten children. Okay. Yeah. And I'm the youngest. Uh-huh. So, and then I just, um, when I came here, it was just normal. The girls or yeah. um, food. Yeah. It happened to be that my husband also, he didn't come from a farm, but also from a family uh, who grew their own food. Okay. So, we got along very well in that respect. <laughs> <laughs> and where did you, so... 
how did you end up to, when did, how old were you when you came to the United States? Um, when I first came, I was here to make care of the family to care for children. That was, that was 21. Yeah. Well, 78. Yeah, I think it was 21. And then I went back. I was here 15 months at that time. This was after university or? Well, a kind of, um, it's called a domestic science college. So okay. the university was okay. before. Um, and then uh, I went back. I went back for about uh, two years. And then I we got married. And that was thirty years ago. Okay. From thirty years ago in state. And was that so? Were you an au pair here in DC? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, who? Did, who? What kind of family were you an au pair for? Where did they live? He was. They live pretty close, actually. They live on. Uh, then they live on Garfield Street. So, so, um, so here in Cleveland Park. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess it's called. Yeah, that's was the Cleveland Park, but then they moved to Foxhall. Foxhall. Okay. Yeah, and like after that, that uh, it's exploded. I don't know if it's exploded. Oh, or palisade. Uh huh. That's pretty close. Okay. And how? What? Who are the kids? Uh, they're very young. No, they were <laughs> they were very little. Like they were old, and um, when they were the girl, and I left when she was three months old. Okay. Three months. Oh, I mean, yeah, she was three months old when they were left. The three was two years old by then. Uh-huh. But the family there were no gardeners, and then they had a garden, but no vegetable garden. Mm-hmm. And uh-huh. um, he was in the way, and she was uh, living at the Austin Embassy. Okay. Is that how you got connected to them? Was through the the embassy, or no? Uh, in Austin, the, she, she's Austin, and they traveled to Austin every year to the you know, home country, and. Um, a student organization, um, you know, there were some um, um, things posted, some, you know, things to do for students, and this was one of them, if you want to live in another country and learn the language, uh, here, you know, they gave an address that was for people. Yeah. Uh, and it happened that they were in Austria at that time, so I met them. Before I came here, it was a good thing. Yeah. I could meet them, they were like, you know, we got along with each other. Yeah. So I spent like a week with them in Austria, and we liked each other. <laughs> <laughs> so they bought a ticket for me, and then that's how I came. Yeah. So that, based on what you said before, it sounds like that was your first time living in a, in a larger yes. city in a oh, different yeah. country. Oh, yeah. And was that, was that what you wanted? I want, go have that new experience? Yeah. 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 And how was that, moving from a more um, rural setting to the city? I liked city? it. I mean, it was very exciting. Um, it was a, I think at that age, it's, um, yeah, you just like different things. You want to yeah. learn what's out there in another country. And, um, yeah, I was very excited. I liked mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Then I got to travel around here in America. Yeah. Yeah, you know, in uh, like the home parts uh, out west, Canada. Mm-hmm. So, but then after 15 months, I moved to that Yeah. <laughs> but you came back again now no, after that. No, I met my husband at that time when I was here in the pair. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he was still here oh, yeah. while you, when you returned? Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. When he visited me once, and then the second time I, I came back with him. Okay. And he's from Italy, or no? He's he was born here. His parents came from uh, Italy. Okay. Um. And so Washington in the late seventies, early eighties. Are, are there any particular things that you remember about what the city was like at that time, or this neighborhood? Um. I don't think it was as well. Everybody always says Washington is. Boring compared to other places. I mean, I only lived here. I traveled a little bit to New York. Uh, so, I mean, I could see the difference. Yeah, it's more lively there. And it's just very boring. Street to empty. And that has changed, I think. Mm-hmm. Especially, you know, we were, we were driving the other day on um, New Street in a tour of um, 
northeast and H Street. Well, yeah, H yeah. Street north, uh, at northeast, and then he used to there at like at eleven o'clock at night, or even later. It's like full, full of people. Yeah. But then yesterday, even here, we the property. Well, I moved here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's much better. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yes, Very you likely. see, there's definitely it's just a lot of good pockets of development that have mm -hmm. been geared towards nightlife and yeah. food. Yeah, I mean, I don't go out much, but uh, then I then I can see that. Yeah, it's just becoming more like a little bit more European looking. Hmm. Yeah, I think a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, by the time you came back, had you? Oh, what kind of, you came back for your relationship with your husband, it sounds like that's yes. why you m moved here. Did you have a, a career path at that point, or? No. When I was back in Austin, I worked for, um, like, AAA, at the Austin, yeah. Mm -hmm. AAA as a, um, group planner. Yeah. Yeah. But for a short time only, because it was just back two years, and then I came back. So I really uh, and I always like to cook and especially bake, so that's what I wanted to do here. So I was just uh, asking at different places where they could hire me as the pastry chef. Yeah. And then I went to Cafe Mesa and mm -hmm. then cook here. Downtown. For them since two years. Oh, and that, you still do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. I do it in my home, but um, I take them um, part time. Okay. They have a uh, cake from other places, not everything is for me, but um, some of them are Okay. And Cafe Mozart was, at that time, uh, had they been around for a long time? I actually don't know a lot about that. Yeah. Uh, first of all, um, I think actually when I was here in a fair, I forgot that for how many years, they were on their daily, near the Greyhound, that's where the Greyhound bus station used to be, and near the Avenue. Yeah. Um, but I didn't know them then, um, but that's what they did. And then they moved to H Street, 15th Street, and what is, uh, yeah, H Street and 15th Street, and open up a restaurant in combination with the daily. So they still have the daily and the restaurant. Okay. That's when, um, I think they were just open when I started doing things for them. And did you... So you moved here, and again, you moved from somewhere where you kind of you knew how to grow your own food, and where mm -hmm. that, that was just part of your life and the life of yeah. your family. And when you moved here, what was your what was your sense of the food landscape here, and uh, buying food, growing food, that kind of thing? Um. Well, like growing, I first wanted to grow what I was used to eating, and then I realized some things are not working so well here. The climate is different. Mm -hmm. um, but what? Like my mother, she had a lot of root vegetables. They don't do very well here. Um, like? Well, I think it's also the soil, because um, climate was too... You find carrots grown here, but our soil is too... Uh, even though it, it boosted a lot, but it's too compact. Uh, compact. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's a very loose uh, soil. And this was only when my husband, when they bought the house here, apparently they bought the house because um, they liked the idea there was life back there. In the corner, there's the street life. Yeah. So they could work late into the night. They could be, uh, my husband's mother and him, they were the gardeners. He only had a sister, but his sister was not so much a gardener. So he did the garden with his mother. So we worked until 9, 10 o'clock at night because they could, they could see it with the light. That's why they bought this house. <laughs> and they really liked that idea. And uh, But they were only glass. He said there were you know, people throwing uh, bottles over their hands. Mm -hmm. Glass everywhere. So he cleaned it out a lot. And I mean, it was bad. That's it. And now we have a pretty good soil, but still it's too compact for uh, a lot of mm -hmm. things. Like a scale, I guess that's why I want to do too well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like carrots, I keep trying, 
I just say what you love it and um, heat is getting a little better now. But anyway, I was just trying to do heat on a new, but then I, you know, I realized that something could just be grown and then I did other things, whatever goes well here. Like eggplants, which I had, that's something you cannot put off there because it's too cold. Mm -hmm. It used to be. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's changing. This year, apparently, it's very hot over there. They have to heat it over there. It's three weeks so dirty. Yeah. Um, but eggplants, uh, I'm telling you, we got the feet too big. They did very well. Yeah. Um, so, you're, you you started, your husband owned this house where mm -hmm. we're at right now when you moved here. So, yes. you, this is where you've lived ever mm -hmm. time. And you, you started going through here immediately. You just decided yeah. to do that. So, people, you talked about there being glass in the in the yard. Mm -hmm. and it was, I mean, I, we're in Cleveland Park, and this is a pretty affluent part of D.C. Mm -hmm. Was it? Was it different then? I mean, was it, was yeah, it rougher? I think it, I th yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. And were there, were there, a, did you see other people here going food that no. ambitiously no. at all? No, nobody, I don't think. And there's still not that many, I don't think. I mean, these are new people now. They have maybe three tomato plants. I think they have some herbs here. Uh, they grew once, but now they kind of gave up. You know, they have little kids, but even with, you know, they're, they're busy, busy. Um, and then, yeah, these people, they grow a little bit. They've been growing vegetables for a long time, a little bit. But not, not like, not so big. Then another neighbor, he's also, but not when I came, uh, mm -hmm. around here. Yes, I didn't know anybody. Yeah. Except my husband's sister, she lives. That's where he grew up, a few houses up the street. So they have a big, um, the whole garden is covered with vegetables. Mm -hmm. But they have the same problem. They have, you know, all these big trees. So yeah. So not too much sun anymore. Did you connect with any community gardens at that point? No. No. Yeah. I mean, you had, you made good use of <laughs> the... The yeah, earth, the earth mean, that you had ready access to. Yeah, you, you mean to get a plot, to grow? To get a plot or for the community oh, of it. I mean, no. either one. Yeah. No. Did you, I mean, did you either seek out or by happenstance make connections with other people who were growing food no. in the city? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Too big, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I mean, it's everything myself. And uh, I don't have a gardener, and I don't have a housekeeper, and the other thing that's like, happened, I was very busy baking. Yeah. Um, and now I started, well, not now, maybe about 15 years ago, I started doing that. Of course, it's a hobby, but then I participate in some shows. That's why I think I'll, I'll be busy in, in all that. So, you know, I have to figure out how to hang. I have a big black coil, I have to figure out how to hang it. Um, but it's good to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the audience. Yeah. But sometimes it's frustrating because, um, well, this year hasn't been that hot. I mean, there was one really hot week, but in general, it was not like right. last, the last two years, I think. So it was like last year, which is the hot, so it's so hot, I couldn't do anything. And then in the evening, I thought it's a little cooler, and the mosquitoes get a lot of mosquitoes because um, I can keep up with. You know, the, you know, the thoughts just give up and uh, too much. And, you know, the empty everything for me. So they were to deal with mosquitoes and, and they really like me. So I'm You're bitten, bitten. Oh, yeah. Succulent. It's, it's warm. <laughs> and, yeah. And then I'm just... <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I get worse on it. Yeah. But yeah. the other day was, a, you know, I did a lot of reading because it was a good day. It was not so hot. So I just do it during the day. Yeah. Better mosquito, yeah. Um, so I didn't seek any. I don't know. You think just to help other people? Is that what you For any reason, I mean, I'm just getting trying to get a sense of, of what kind of relationships happened or not based on your activity as a, a food grower. I mean, for instance, you have you you cultivate more of your front and backyard mm -hmm. in this house than most people in Washington, D.C. do. I mean, not a lot mm -hmm. of people work this much land. Mm -hmm. I mean, were people kind of curious about it when they would walk by? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. And when they... love. I mean, I find it messy, my garden, because I don't have enough time mm-hmm. to keep it really. I always want to have it nicer looking. Yeah. And needle. Yeah. I just cannot get it that way because I don't have the time. Yeah. And I do everything myself, so... Uh, but people always say, oh, you love your garden, I said, you do. <laughs> <laughs> for the longest time I had, well, for the next like, two years, uh, when there was a big snowfall or snowstorm, uh-huh. that two and a half years ago, I think, uh, we had a blue piece out front, right in the middle. There was the other thing, it covered, it got too big, that it covered almost the whole middle area, so I couldn't get a pepper plant or not, I couldn't find anything there anymore, it was just a blue spot uh-huh. covering this whole area, and it went up to the wire, and then when we had the snowstorm, it uh, knocked it down, it was still, it was just kind of leaning, but it was on the, on the wire, so I made my husband cut it, away from the wire, because <laughs> I, I was afraid we would, we would like, lose power, you know. Um, and then we left in, I kind of like the trunk leaning. I wanted, uh-huh. I wanted to see, I didn't know yet what, but I thought I wanted to do something interesting. Maybe make a waterfall or something. But they never got around to it, and people always kept looking at it, and why should you do this trunk like that? Mm-hmm. And then they asked me, but, and, 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 you know, and they told me, you, you know, why she's leaving this bunk like that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, she, she has plans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then this year, it really got to look, even I didn't like it anymore, it got really dry, and it was just this empty, yeah, it looked ugly. So we cut it, and now the flower pots, we still send that the stump like that. Yeah. Really, so I put a flower pot on it, and then everybody was happy. <laughs> So people know this side of it. Oh, finally. <laughs> yeah. Were they ever, uh, I mean, in terms of growing food out front, have people given you a hard time? My husband, yeah. Because at, at that time, there was before I came, mm-hmm. he planted potatoes mostly, yeah. apparently. Uh, and potatoes get really ugly when they're ready to harvest. Yeah, they have to wait until dry and, up. And, yeah, yeah, and then you just have to dry stuff. And it looks ugly then, and people apparently complain. Mm-hmm. Oh, I really could start it. And so it was at that time people didn't have any appreciation yet for growing food. I don't think people would do that now. I, I don't think so. You don't think they would complain? Yeah, I don't yeah. think so. I mean, it sounds like people kind of like the, the way it looks now, but you have things like well, now I got sunflowers green. and tomatoes. Yeah, when they come up like wild, they come up wild. It's decent. But yeah, it's green. Now, yeah, who knows? I mean, I don't know. It's, uh, it is if you only have potatoes, when they die, it's bare. You know, the whole area would be bare. That's yeah. how it looks, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they might still come. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not growing potatoes now? No. No, um, no because I probably wouldn't like that either. <laughs> it just won't hold bare. Right. I did plant them in a back once. And again, it got too shady, I think. For two years, I had really a good harvest. Mm-hmm. And the last two years was not good. So I gave it up because it really quite a lot of space to me to get enough. So I don't think I got probably, I put one potato in and I probably got two potatoes. But I usually get like, I don't know. A lot. Could have 20, you know, from one, when you cut them and uh, need only one eye. Mm-hmm. Cut them and uh, you can get maybe like, four pieces out of one potato when you plant them. Mm-hmm. Then you might get 20 out of that, so... So that didn't happen. Uh, then I give up. Yeah. So that's why I said tomatoes did because you should rotate the shadow problem with the space. And it seems like a big space, but again, that's the shade. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I keep planting the same thing at the same spot. But especially the light shaded, light shaded plants, you should rotate. Right. And uh, so that's another problem. Yeah. With the, so I tried to the potatoes and tomatoes this year. And sometimes too well, but it's too soon. Yeah. So, since you moved here, uh, you've been going food here and baking for Mozart Cafe. Mm-hmm. Did you have another, was that your, your main mm-hmm. paid work that you've done? Yeah. That you put here? And did you raise a family here also? I don't have any children. Okay. So how, 
I, I guess I'm curious still, like, how was that in terms of managing this much space to grow food? That's a lot of work. And it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's, a, it's a type of schedule and work that very few people in this city do. I mean, not only. Or does he have? Yeah. Does he have? Does he not have the time? But not no, have the time. No, I mean, just, not. or choose to spend that much time to, or be yes. afford, able to, you know. Many times, I mean, I do like it. I mean, I like to do it, but sometimes it gets too much. Yeah. Um, but I would want to do something else, too. But then I think, you know, since I have it, I just cannot let it go wild completely. Mm -hmm. So people, my friends, and they're going to go to movies, and I guess it's not... Maybe movies are okay once in a while, but it, I'm not a big movie goer. So maybe it is again my priority. But I, no, I have work to do. I would tell you, no, I have so much work to do. Like, oh, I think, oh, come on. And, but if I really would like to do the movie that much, I probably would. Yeah. I choose, you know, instead of being in my garden. So maybe I find it as an excuse. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do like biking, and so sometimes I do leave just, just even though I know, because I could work in the garden all the time. Right. They would be good all of them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh -huh. But I, I do want to go biking. So then they said, Right. I think they just go biking. Right. Go right. But I think a lot of people, they do not make the sacrifice. They just want to go to the restaurant. But mm -hmm. so well, why did you, I mean, is it because you grew up doing it that you had that mentality I about think so. using the mm -hmm. space? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's the mentality a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I do like, I mean, and I like to cook too, so um, I just think it's better. Mm -hmm. And I can see in the peppers, how when you buy it into a fresh pepper, when you buy it in a little store, it's maybe a little bit soft already. Yeah. So it, 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 that doesn't make it, you know, like, a thing this year. So, the snap, the crunch? Yeah, the crunch, really a crunch. Yeah. What's the German word? Slapkick. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that. Or a tomato. You just go out there. And I, I'm sure it is something I grew up with. Like when I tell you, you just pull the, the, the carrots or something, you host them up and eat them right out there. Yeah. And here, go out in the, in the um, garden and pick tomatoes and eat them right out there. Yeah. Uh, for sure, the little ones, the cherry tomatoes. Yeah, they're like candy. Yeah, we don't have too many anymore, so I don't even find any in the house. I just eat them up there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so aside from what you were growing, did you, where else did you get food from? Well, here? Yeah. Groceries? Yeah, groceries. I go to the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still buy stuff from the farmer's market. My husband doesn't like it because he thinks it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very waste of money. It's such expensive food. Um, I mean, I understand. Yeah, I, I know it's expensive. I understand that it takes more time to grow it like that. Mm -hmm. The way they need to grow it, if it's organically grown. Um, and some things I can get there, I cannot get in the store. So I like it for that reason too. Yeah. I get the Cuban Turkey Farmer's Market, they have the ramp, the ramps. The wild, oh, uh, ramps. Wild, yeah. Wild, yeah. Ramps. Yeah. Even though. Nobody in Austria can buy rents like that. But I guess they don't have the choice. I don't know. In, in, Why you would... can live in Vienna uh, on the outskirts of the... You know, right on the, uh, the Viennese woods. The whole event they want is the season when the rents were, were ready. You see nothing but, you know, under you know, all the trees and nothing but rents. And yeah. you just go there and you have to so fresh. Because, because the leaves is the best, actually. You buy them at the market, the leaves are all worth it, and they charge a lot of money for it. Um, and they're, are they, they're cultivating them? They're not? No, I don't think so. I oh, they're they, just picking them wild? I think so. Hmm. I'm not sure about that, but I, I assume they come from the wild. Because they, they come back, you know, they keep coming back. But I'm not sure about that. Mm -hmm. They cultivate it. But they don't look good. I mean, they, sometimes you're lucky that you get some greens out of it. And the roots are still okay. Um, so I buy them. And then uh, there's some radishes, which are really good. I, I don't find anywhere else. Um, they're the melon radishes. Mm -hmm. only oh, yeah, yeah. Those are lovely. <laughs> I like them. 
a lot of the other things too. Maybe karate, I love karate. Mm-hmm. And I have grown mad and that was okay, but that should be the that is a karate. Maybe whole boots my father. Yeah. So I, I like to do the whole boots. Yeah. Also. But that's quite a change. I mean, I my sense of uh, urban farmers markets in the United States now mm-hmm. is that there's a trendiness to them. So they oh, can be very expensive yes. compared to what I imagine in Europe where it's just part of, it's it's more of a tradition, right? I mean, Yeah, but I think they're also more expensive than they go to the stores. In Europe. The farmers market, yeah. Yeah. But not like, yeah. And it's not like, like, it's a, and then it seems like it's only a leading place people need. Right. Uh, the farmers market. Right. Yeah, they're yeah, expensive. Maybe some are different. I mean, I just like to go there because it's a nice walk for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, to just go to look around and then even need anything. It's an excuse to, you know, so it's kind of nice to take a walk and have a destination. Mm-hmm. And just yeah. make it a point. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, so, in, in seasons where you really were growing a lot, you know, like any season, were you able to actually grow a lot of your own food for yeah, like just your own meat. I had so many to learn so that I have seen so many people with computer problems because they get yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the water. <laughs> um, I love tomatoes and uh, so yeah, there were always, I think we had maybe 100 tomato plants. I still do because it, I, I have still tomato plants in parts that you never know anymore. To put them out there, I just left them there. Of course, I didn't do anything to them, maybe, and, and yeah. they were happening. Um, but uh, because I grow it my own, and sometimes I just have too many, and I just kind of throw them away. So I divide every seedling, because I don't put one, one seed in one pot. I always tend to put <laughs> a few in one pot. Just always recycle my pots, I never use those. Um, the well, I used the plastic ones when I buy flowers. I used to buy more flowers than I buy them anymore. But I still like paint it and I keep those parts to wash them out. And then they're a little bit too big just for one seed. They put several seeds in it. And then when they germinate, then I don't want to throw them away, so I divide them all. So I end up with, I mean, that's just too much work for them. When I give them away, everybody gets. I don't know, everybody got tomatoes this year. Mm-hmm. But then they complain when they don't do well because some people don't have the sunny, sunny area either. So you gave away the plants, not, not the, the, plants. Not the fruits. Oh, we yeah. used to give away the tomatoes. Yes, yeah. they, my friend was here and um, and we had we had uh, some tomatoes now ready to eat. And, uh, but uh, I said, I don't have any to give to you. <laughs> I mean, I could have given him one, but we don't have that many. Not, yeah. We didn't count any of it. Um, but she said, yeah, I remember it when we got so many tomatoes from you. And everybody, not just her, I mean, maybe yeah. five different people. Yeah. Asking for it. Mm-hmm. Peppers and eggplants and tomatoes, all different kinds of tomatoes. <laughs> so now, you know, and I have gotten a little bit, maybe because we don't have it anymore. If we still had it, I probably would give it, I would give it away before having it for the weight. Now I'm like, you know, no, I, I, I don't have that many. Uh, I can eat it all myself. Mm-hmm. You can you can always grow your own too. Because these are all people that have their own garden. Yeah. They just don't plant vegetables because it's too much work. Yeah. So I feel like I can plant their own. <laughs> and have you ever acted as kind of mentor or teacher to help them do that? Or? <laughs> if they want. Oh, yeah. Okay. One friend, she, yeah, she asked me for advice. Yeah. But you haven't, it doesn't sound like you've been, Help him? been in, no, it sounds like you've been helpful when asked, but it doesn't sound like you've been a, an activist about it, you know, kind of going out and going out of my way and, and trying to push people to grow food or anything like um, that if they didn't, if they weren't already inclined. No, because uh, to me, the least they said that she's so different than me. Mm-hmm. In that respect, uh, my, uh, she yeah. yeah she just thinks uh, there's so much uh, out that, that we can help people. We have to encourage them. I just think they give up after they see how much work it is. 
they give up. Mm-hmm. Most of them. Mm-hmm. They don't want to do the work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, may, 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 well, and then a lot of people travel a lot. Uh, yeah. People I know, uh, they don't know summer, so yeah, they would be the same thing here if my husband didn't stay here. I mean, this summer I'm here, but I, I travel a lot of summer. So I used to travel, I think, um, just the last, the third summer now I'm here. Before then, since the 30 years I've been here, I always travel in the summer. To Austria? Or? No, uh, I travel with my sister. We travel with different parts of the world. Uh, mm-hmm. Asia, we like Asia. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the last, uh, that's what I feel like. Now at least I can eat my tomatoes. Because at that time, I usually, so when I travel in August, I might have gotten some in July. You know, they're just starting in July. Um, so when I, when I travel in July, then I, I could get some, you know, end of August. Still. Yeah. Yeah. Because we used to get a lot, it was still green ones, so the, we could um, just uh, get them uh, ready for, for the fall, and we we'll pick them, and um, just let them buy them uh, in the house. Yeah. But we didn't have that many anymore, even green ones. And that's the other thing, I plant a lot of yellow tomatoes now, because I think they're better, but they're not um, uh, defeat resistant. Yeah. So the two get uh it takes even more work. Yeah. To just to bring them along. They do get uh fifty and and that's what's happening also. My husband doesn't like that. Because then he he never planted um yellow. No was yeah. a disease resistance. The the kind you get at the hardware store the yeah. No, he always he also raised his own seedlings. Uh-huh. But he always made sure to get seeds which were whatever, I don't know, there are different the different seeds. And generally, I mean, is that where you've gotten seeds and supplies over the years or from whatever store with well, candy? Well, no, I get them, um, yeah, the nurseries, different nurseries, the plants, the American plants, the beautiful plants, the whole thing. Of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you have a little greenhouse back here, so you've raised That's your own seedlings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Did you build that? Did you all put that in there? Yeah, that would be very really good. And we bought the components, but we did not um, put the foundation. I mean, there's like the 4x4, four four, mm-hmm. but it's not really sealed uh, uh-huh. as well. So a lot of heat gets lost with the heater. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, we put a lot of um, leaves, chopped up leaves on the side. Uh, my husband used to get um, this in here, in the stables, and mix it with leaves and we put a lot of um, on the side. Yeah, and that helps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good, but uh, yeah. it's very old now, too. I'm sure they maybe 20 years old, 25. Did you um? Did you do a lot of preserving of food for for eating in the winter, like canning and? Yeah, I mean, my husband did all the canning. Okay. That's when we had a lot. I really didn't do that so much anymore. Um, I do it with the berries. So I have enough berries. Like this one is um gooseberry jelly. Yeah. And um, pears, but not as greasy as ever since. Yeah. So the school team is the pairs up before they get even right. Yeah. So they can not that much. But you, yeah, if they have enough all of the mm-hmm. And it sounds like pests in general are worse. I mean, you're talking about the deer. Mm-hmm. And, then and, and then the birds, uh, oh yeah, figs. I did so much with the figs. Uh, I mean, a lot of them. Um, and um, so the last year's been, yeah, a lot of schools to come and eat them before they even arrive. Just that you know, anything holds in the field too. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it seems like there's more more predators. <laughs> Do you know why? <laughs> well, because yeah, every you know, they come close and it's like the bear, you know, they don't find enough food anymore. Because uh, everything is still you know, they're building everywhere. Was yeah. there a bear that came in? Not here, but oh, okay. it's pretty close. <laughs> I mean yeah. the echo? Yeah, I told them about the deer. Yeah, an echo, 
that were in the dark woods, and uh, wasn't that there? It was you know, even closer than the next one. No, not here at all, Tom. But very close. And that's the thing because they don't find enough food. Yeah. And, you know, we beat a lot of people who beat today, I don't know. Because we would not encourage a day at a given time. I don't think you probably would, yeah. My husband sees all the animals. He doesn't mind that the deer is getting food. Well, we have to share. Yeah. He likes animals. Yeah. Um, alright. Well, you know, do you think that you'll, do you plan to continue to live here and grow food? Yes. Until? Yes. I mean, we live for sure. Um, but it's so hot. I think in the last two years, so, so I said, what am I going to do? I can't stay here. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. The heat is. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's. Like, and yeah, I, I will try to plant more vegetables in the front. Mm-hmm. If there's like one area, it's just everything is, there are flowers here, but they just come up wild, and just leave them there, like the black eyed Susan. Yeah, I can just pick it up, and there's this wild, um, I think it's called, um, it's some kind of a chai, but it's a black leaf. It's pretty, it blooms white. You know, like the chai, see the blue, or it will bloom white. I don't know how much to, I got a hand of friction plant there. Let's say this on the top. So I might get some areas where we can move it. Yeah. But then again, we have, um, it has changed a lot. There was a big tree in, in a city tree, you know, the size. It was pretty big. We had a lot of shade in the front. And that one guy, then we had so much stuff. Oh, God. Did not die? Not the no, 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 no. I mean the community tree. Oh, oh. I think it was a maple tree. That, that died. And uh, so we had a lot of stuff. And then I said, okay, I can plant this and things. So and then I planted another tree. That's getting big now again, too. So then we will have shade again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's always something. Yeah, it's yeah. changing. And did you, you compost? Did yeah. you always have a compost pile? And yeah. you, you just did a pile? Yeah. And did that work fine? Yeah. yeah. No yeah. complaints from the neighbors? <laughs> oh, when I first moved here, someone left an anonymous note outside. It looked like a compost pile. But you had it always back there, right? No. Okay. How did they know this? Know this? I have no idea how they know this. I don't know if it's really the people next door. I just don't know who it is. Maybe, maybe next door it could be. Yeah. 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 Because they would be the right yeah, now. I've had horse growth in the stables for years and years. Yeah, I've done it lately. Yeah. So that's what he did. He did it, I mean, not just for the greenhouse, he was sitting within the, within the yeah. soil. Yeah. Yeah. So he was in the house. Yeah. 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 Oh, many buckets away. Stuff like that. So it sounds like you've improved the soil a lot mm-hmm. since over the years yes. you've been there. Well, I told him, and I told him it's still uh, uh, more compact than I've been wanted, but it's, 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 well, it's just the soil. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. You dig down to the feet, you find rocks. Yeah. And the rock one, mm-hmm. which was the uptown theater. Mm-hmm. All the rocks you see and all the edges they come out of the ground. Yeah. Very few have that carriage and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. The bigger ones out front, yes, but all the ones you see on the ledge down there, they come out of the garden. Okay. But then I figure out why, why, why dig them out to keep big on it and leave them there. There you are. You only have that much energy. That's right. <laughs> well, you don't need to go in and dig it or let my box. Um, the other work you did, though, in D.C. was, was baking baked goods, yeah. and, uh, what kind of, like, pastries or bread, or... No, pastries. Mm-hmm. In the European style? Yeah, uh, strudels and cake. Yeah, European style. Yeah. Um, are there any, I mean, that's another 
way that you cross paths with the food of Washington, D.C.? Are there any stories or memories from that part of your life here that, that stand out? Well, <laughs> well, I think it was not very good at that time, but not in his institution. It's just a bit of a space. Mm -hmm. At that time, it's not good. Mm -hmm. But now you can find good spaces, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. What? The journal specialty picks. Yeah. The Austrian. Sometimes people ask me for their cities and um, um, sometimes it's, well, first of all I have to convert it to, um, they think it's just easy to get in the recipe, but uh, then I tell them it takes a while. Some I have converted already and some I have not. Two. English units? Or yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, like today I, I measured, um, I, I weigh everything on a scale, which is so much more accurate than in the cups. Yeah. I think. Mm. Because the like sugar is heavier than nuts. So I have, um, with, with the scale, I have more sugar than the nuts. When I measure in the cups, it's the same amount. Yeah. Because it, it's the other way. The flour is in on the Yeah. So yeah. the flour is in on the nuts. Yeah. Too. Yeah. So somehow I don't know if, if they will get the same result. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. Did you go any? of the ingredients you were using in the baked goods? Or? Yeah, maybe some jam. But otherwise, no. Yeah. Uh, is this something I keep going? No, I don't think so. For my kids. No, like, like the berries or the fruits? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Like I said, uh, we had apples, but they're not doing too well. No, we don't get any apples anymore. Mm -hmm. But the trees are they're pretty old, and uh, we, we're, not, we're not very good in pruning the trees. Uh-huh. You know, you do it at the wrong time, and uh, you do too much of it at one time. Yeah. Because it just gets too big, and then I just want to chop it off. <laughs> <laughs> can do that. We had to search three things, this things, and I wanted them to cut much more off. Yeah. Because, you know, that might as well. And they said, no, we can't do that, because we killed the tree. We can cut that much at one time. Yeah. So I looked almost like, oh, they cut. If the branches were all the way down, so that uh, gave you the more shade, right. and then they tied it together, as it was even opening up more. It's a great tree. <laughs> yeah, my husband doesn't like it because he doesn't give him anything, he says. He doesn't give him anything. Oh, he the birds off now. He, he likes uh, <laughs> the pigs. They give him pigs. But then how many pigs can you eat? How many can you eat? Then all his complaints was the bird houses too. I mean, they put the beer house way up there. Now we cannot get it down because you need to clean it every time. Yeah. Otherwise, they don't like to the man anymore. Now we got a whole thing. Oh my God! The branches got to do stuff. I know. Well, I didn't think about that. So, is there any? What advice would you give to people who grow food in Washington D.C.? You've certainly spoken to the need to just work hard, like that a lot of people don't have the time or the desire to well, do in the city. Well, I think it's worth it. Yeah. I mean, then, even my husband says, well, who has this piece of land? They say, yeah, but he has people who have it. They don't do it. And if they have less, he can, um, you know, the people do it. It yeah. pops. It's just a really big pop. So you have to, like in the front, they put tomato plants where they have left over. But I guess they're not the right tomatoes for pops. Mm -hmm. Because they're just, um, and again, it might be too hot, you know, against the wall, where the sun really, you know, they're, they're hot afternoon sun. So it might be just too hot. Yeah. But, um, you know, yeah, I'm going to tell to people. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't find one. Yeah, well, yeah, you can find one. <laughs> you, don't the, you don't get the production buy tomatoes and cucumbers cheaper in the summer. 
Men det er nok et skridt af bort, at du som mener sig til farmer, og så er det her, det er det farmer, så det er det, det du ejer her, det er det. Aha. Det er så skridt af bort, at vi skal gå, eller vi skal ikke sige det. Det er flot skridt. Even at the farmer's life, yeah. Ja. Nå, det er det, du kan se, at vi har brugt et one of the stands, så det might even come from the end, så det skridt. Ja, okay. Even though they said, they told me it came from the eastern tour, Yeah. They did say it came from, you know. So if you were a woman up in the Vienna, it's the East Coast of the Giant out in Vienna, there's a woman out there, mm-hmm. I think that's why I saw her at the whole front house, right out there, not the fine stuff. This was 30 years ago, yeah. 25 years ago. Yeah, they had a, a woman had a stand, uh, and it looked like it was uh, from the, I mean, like, in the country. But he saw her buying her stuff at the wholesale house at the market. Uh, he really bought our office. It's where we buy the office for the office for the So that means she got her stuff from there. So some, some, well, I don't know if it is better. Um, I don't know, I should say it is, but like it, if people have to label it. Like if they're people to the farmer's market, I know. Be honest about yeah. where it came from. Right. Yeah. And maybe they had something better. No. But, um, I mean, with the beads, I don't think, first of all, this, I don't know how you call it, but they, 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 well, they call them Italian beads, the wider ones. Oh, oh. And they're so much, I like them so much. They uh, call Roma, 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 the bush beads are called Roma. Oh, Roma. Yeah. Roma. But they you can't buy them in the store. Mm. Some of farmers must have them, I think. Yeah, it's kind of push the pole beads, right? So I think it's worth going then, because they're easy, they're yeah, really easy to grow. Uh-huh. A friend of mine, she doesn't want to grow beans because they, they try to grow speedos, she says. We have good problems. We used to have that, but this year the best, one of the best years for beans. Hmm. It's, it's weird, but uh, they, because it was not so hot. I think it's because we saw them later. That's so? Because the ground is so cold. And Right, the ground is not 55 degrees, they're not going to be able to get them out. Yeah, it was just a time when I, I would usually plant the beans, but it was raining, and it was, and this spring was very cold. Yeah. So the ground just stays cold for a long time. Yeah. So we waited, and so they didn't go. Yeah. You know, because every time I plant beans, it rains, and I end up doing it two or three times. <laughs> I have a garden field, but that's just... Okay. Yeah, he takes care of his sister's daughter. Well, I put it wrong. She doesn't like it. <laughs> the God, I put it wrong. It doesn't taste like it is. It's fine that I do that. Yeah. yeah. You have a garden too, right? I do. Uh, all right, let's finish up. Is there anything else you would add <laughs> before I talk about my uh, my garden? No. Okay. I don't think so. Well, thank you so much for for chatting a bit about okay. this. It's been great to be here with you.